A decrease in supply voltage is usually accompanied by the respective build-up of consumption current, which in turn leads to increased dissipated power. Preventing overheating of certain parts is one of the common challenges for today's power supplies. Mirators possess the chips, help detect the increased heat generation of individual electronic circuit components, with the monitoring quality increasing substantially when two or more local overheat areas are controlled on a circuit board. Measurement of the overheat temperature with the help of a positor. A thermistor with a high positive temperature coefficient requires a very simple circuit in which the positor sensor is included into the resistive voltage divider. The overheat in this circuit is determined based on the voltage drop re registered on the positor. In this case, the measured temperature is equal to 105 degrees Celsius. By changing voltage in a current in a correct way, we can control the state of the bipolar and field effect transistors that generate heat using mirror sensors as thermodes. This graph of the output signal shows that the temperature at output voltage of of 0.15 volts is above the room temperature and below the limit, and that the temperature voltage ratio is characterized by a steep slope in the range of limit values. A simple circuit that contains chip resistors can be used to conduct direct measurements even in the transistor switching mode. At almost a sevenfold difference of the measured voltages, specialized software and equipment like ADC, ROM, etc. is not required. To optimize temperature, Mirator uses the simplest thermal model based on the mechanism of heat conduction from the heat generating elements to the positive through the circuit board or by air. The overheat generated in this manner can be detected by means of appropriate calculations. However, in some cases the heat conduction mechanism in the actual device can be different from the theoretical model. Such error may result in unregistered overheat that might lead to incorrect operation or failure of the device. In such cases, it is very important to appropriately adjust the method used to determine the operating temperature and especially its limit value. Besides, to correctly detect the overheat using thermodes at a given limit value, in our case 1.06 volts, we also need to consider the temperature-dependent characteristics of the sensors themselves.